Now we'll come back over and continue to place things down on the fences. Well, with the fences. There's a little arrow right now that seems to point in a very specific direction. I like that. It's going to help out in the future. We'll put a gate right here. And then we'll keep going down. This is where the game bugs me or not. Oh, no. Oh, that's a shame. All right, then. This is going to have to stick out ever so slightly. It's good. To, we could do the same thing on the other side just to make it seem a little less annoying. Yeah, there we go. And then we can have a gate right here. I don't like it. I don't hate it as much now because it's happening on both sides. And this bit's going to be completely separated and it should be nice. Now the reason I wanted a sapper, the trapper even, fuck, <laughs> I think I'm starting to, <laughs> well, dissuade myself. That's not good. That's fantastic. I like that. We can use more farms by the looks of it though. Our farmer's not really doing that much. Our guards are though, apparently. Caravan approaches. No. There we are, fantastic. At the same time, because of how this is connected, I think we should also cut this off ever so slightly. This doesn't really serve any protective bonuses, just looks nice, so... <laughs> just gonna let everyone know. And we'll just have that bit block off, I suppose. Or blocked off. Might stop enemies, you never know. But I don't think it will. I just want it to look nice. Level 2 right there. So I think that's high enough to become a herbalist, I believe. Not herbalist, a... Whatever that class is. I don't think I can make the tools for it just yet, however. Yep, I need to be level 5. How close are you until you can do it, Carpenter? You are... Nearly there. I think just make a few more fences. You should be alright. I keep going to click on these tools. I like how there's sort of a multiple... There's multiple ways to access the menus. It's not just this. But you can also... Just click on little bits in the world. It's quite nice. Instead of everything just sort of being on a menu. Let's see. What would I like a lot of? Lanterns. I would like a lot of lanterns. To get ten of these ones and ten of these. Followed by... I can't make these beds right now. I mean, I can, but they're not that great. Making some shields as well would be a great idea. Just 20 shields. They're useful and cheap. Better than fences, I feel, at least when it comes to selling things. So we have one bow. I'm not sure where the others are. Scattered around, I suppose. I have to double check. Why have I only got one bow? Okay, you're not making the others. Why not? Oh, you need leather for it. Okay, then. Should be able to make one more leather right there. That was the other reason the trap is great. We only got leather or anything based on it through rewards. Right, so there we go. There's the other bow. We have two pieces of level right there. I guess the carpenter just stopped making stuff for a second. That's good. Well, it's not good, but better, I suppose. We want to harvest all these flowers as well, because making more health tonics is a good idea. Should really loot that. There we go. Did we loot what was up here? We did. What about over here? We have not. Okay. Where are the enemies gone? I've not been attacked. In like the last few days. It's really weird. I'm used to getting attacked every other minute. Have I bugged the game out? I feel like I have. <laughs> if that's the case, then there's not much point, is there? Alright, so we've got our three archers. I believe we have five in our... No, we have six in our company. So we don't want... Piggy Bank to upgrade to an archer because we want them to be a knight. And I think you as a level 2, I think is good enough. Level 3. So, once you hit level 3, we can make you into a knight. Just because you're, you've are you got such a high body, I think that's a good idea. So, we're going to make you a knight when the time comes. As for Gunter, because you're a level 6 footman, I don't think it's a good idea to change you into a ranged DPS. Since your melee DPS should be so good. Solar. Can't do it just yet, I think. So you have to be level 3. But eventually we will turn you into a archer. At the same time, the dude as well will turn you into an archer. So it looks like maybe two archers, followed by a third one later on. Why are they taking so long here? We could do we could do with some more farmers now that I think about it. How's the resource gathering going anyway? Looks like we've just made that shield, which is nice. 
We can make two more bits of iron. Don't want really. I don't really want to make bronze. We can make four ingots, followed by two tin. We'll make some steel later on. It's not as necessary right now. We'll get this in a second. And the herbalists can go ahead and make themselves some more health pots. Failed on the food again. We keep failing on food. The demand is much higher. I don't know why I made ten. I could only make five. I wasn't paying much attention. As you could probably tell. How are we doing right now, Carpenter? What level are you? Oh, just let me click on you. Level five. Ooh, very close to being level five. Well, no, you're level four. Very close to being level five. There we go. There it is. So we'll make that right now. Is it a good idea to make it right now? Because we are getting leather from our hunter or our sapper. But then again, no, no, hunt. Trapper. There we go. Tiger, I think, could probably be our new trapper. But then again, your mind's so good. I don't think that's a good idea. At the same time, you're a miner, which we don't have any of. Or you're just a normal worker. We have too many just classes right now instead of normal workers. Did we get this blocked off? We did good. Fantastic. I don't know why we ever separated in such a way. I guess because it's food for the animals. So, okay. Nice, okay. So you can get more from the animals you gather now. Is it a better idea to have the animal pen than it is to have a sapper? I don't know. At the same time, we get more food, I think. That, now let's just double check the class list. Maybe it's going to give us more details. So if we wanted to make you into a, a shepherd, will it be useful? It really should give you a little bit more information. Okay, yeah, it doesn't matter. It says a little bit right here. So we can basically harvest the animals for food and materials. That's nice. At the same time, the materials we gather, like eggs, for instance, from the pollos, we can then turn into delicious food with our cook. So I think it's a good idea. We do need a shepherd, or I feel like we need a shepherd. And then the trapper, we can make you the trapper right now. Since we need a trapper as well for the level works. And now we can designate a zone for whatever animal we please. I guess this little bit right here can be for the pollo, since it's only going to be two. Does the size really matter? Ladies? I mean, does it? Seven. So we have seven sheep in there. Across here, I think we want to have quite a, a few rabbits. So we can get five rabbits in there. So the size of it really does matter. Mm, okay. I'm going to have to reevaluate re my life. Are sheep more useful? Rabbit produces quickly and can be slaughtered for jerky and pelts. Sounds good to me. That's exactly why we wanted a trapper. As for the pollos, I want pollos. I don't really want sheep right now. It feels like they're not as useful. Uh, sheep produces wool used by the weaver. Slaughtering sheep will produce mutton and raw cooking ingredients. Okay, then. So all of them are really used for food. Uh, use of it, a valuable cooking ingredient. Slaughtering pollo will yield meat and occasionally feathers for crafting. We could do with those four pollos. Sounds pretty good to me. At the same time, we could get that little corner right there. It's probably going to produce one extra. We can't, actually. Let's pause the game while we're waiting around. Do we want to buy some Fred? I think so. I'm going to buy 10 Fred. There we go. Is it really that good of, a, uh, good of an idea? Maybe. I feel like it is. Right. So we have this little bit for animals. That's good. We might want to also use this section eventually later on. Or this little bit since this seems to be the farming house. In fact, this little corner right here, we could just sort of get rid of this road and extend it ever so slightly so we can have a very large sheep pen. Sounds like a good idea to me. We need to make some food for our animals as well. So there we go. We can make some corn, I suppose. Make eight of that. Fourteen of us. So anyway. Um... Okay, then. Oh, wait, no. On a second, stop. <laughs> I realize I'm making... I'm not making animal feed with this. We can make quite a lot of food for our rabbits, though. We can make 20. 
Just because I don't want to use all of our carrots. At the same time, we don't need anything for sheep. But we do need pollo feed. So there we go. Make 14 of that. We'll keep the cook nice and happy. Eventually, they can level up to make some nice food. You've got nowhere to store this, though, which is a bit of a downside. So if we go to our storage units right here. There we are. We could put the storage for them inside. Probably right here. That way they don't have to travel that far away in order to store their goods. Well, in order to give food to the animals. Although they, they do tend to escape, which is a bit of a, a bit of a downside. Let's see. Roy Green's an animal feed. There we go. So that's what we want in there, just animal feed. And hopefully you can put them all in there without going too far. I mean, it's quite far away, which is kind of annoying. Still not enough food. We're getting there, though. We are gathering with our trapper. We do have a shepherd right now gathering food and our farmer. We need to increase the farmer's yield though, I feel. And probably have another farmer later on. Oh, nice. Wait, we need to get rid of this field. Why is it still here? We'll wait for the carrots to disappear. And then we'll make ourselves another field. This one though could be 11 by 9. And it shall be corn, I feel. Yeah, we'll make that corn. The cook is leveled up. Fantastic. I don't want to get rid of this field just yet because it does have carrots on them. Or on it. We'll wait until I get impatient. Which is very soon. I feel the impatience slowly lingering upon myself. Where are the enemies? They they were spawning. And then I think we had that little bug and now we don't have any enemies. Did we win? Have we beat the game? Holy shit, we did it. <laughs> Good job, everyone. We beat the game. <laughs> I'm surprised we're doing so well. Lots of people on the forums were complaining about it being quite difficult on older saves. But I'm not sure if maybe it randomizes difficulty. I mean, once again, we're not playing on hard mode. And I think those people were also a little bit further on in the game than I was. So that's probably, a, well, not probably. It most definitely has something to do with it. What was I going to do? Oh, yeah. Get rid of this farm. <laughs> Completely just gathered away there. Carried away, not gathered away. I was gathered away. Do you not know this? Don't need anything from you. Then again, I think I just saw some leather then. Right. We'll get rid of that. The thief approaches. Ah, there they are. They're really far away. There's a bunch of enemies over there. Okay, good. We can go and deal with them. We should really stop some of our people from being militiamen, though. Hmm, our thieves are still doing fun stuff. Right, let's pause the game right now and slice. Right, we should be able to deal with these guys. But it's the ones above ground that I'm worrying about a bit more. Alright, we'll slice the game. I think we killed the big guy. It's just the random thieves around here that we need to take care of. And we seem to be dealing with them fairly well. Level 3 footman right there on Piggy, which means I think we can turn you into a knight now, which is fantastic for us. We seem to have dealt with that fairly well. Everyone back to work. At the same time, I don't want people to be in the militia anymore. So, yeah, you, you get out of the militia. Just because I don't want you guys to fight. Or well, you lot to fight. Oh, there we go. Got our animals hanging around in here. Gonna slaughter them for the greater good. The greater good. Right, so let's see. Piggy. You can now be upgraded to another knight. Fantastic, because you have a ridiculously high body. Spirit, I think, is good enough as well. There we are, fantastic. And the other gear can be picked up by our other characters. Which doesn't really matter right now. Now, hopefully the weaver can eventually make some cool quivers. Calm right now, but eventually the thick leather vests, although I think we already have some, so maybe the caps instead is a better idea. Let's make ourselves six leather pelts. That'll be great for us. How's it going right now? What's our food situation? Ah, still not good enough. We're using so much of it right now. Did I actually... Did I click yes on that? I think it's just because our farm is so busy. We could really do with another one. Look at that hat. I didn't realize there was so much detail on it. Do we have too many soldiers? I don't think so. I feel fine with the number that we have. 
Tell you what, that we can gather all this up. That might help, help out. Keep going into the mining tool. Actually, was that the mining tool? I don't think so. A part of me was thinking that I was setting a stockpile designation again. I've done that a few times around this area. I'm really happy they put a triple speed mode in this. It's so good. Let's check if we got any more materials right here to make some other goods. So, more iron. Daily update. Ah, oh, damn. Can make some bronze soon. Four copper. Three tin. And eventually just lots of blonde blondes, apparently. Lots of blondes. Steel. We can make ten steel. I think that's a good idea, although we got to be level six in order to start making the full plate gear for our knight. And I don't think you're there yet. You're level four, probably near level five. Yeah, okay, maybe we'll, we'll go for it. I feel like it's a good idea. What have we got inside this? Are we storing anything specific? Looks like just food, okay. What about in here? Oh, this is where you put your ingots. Okay, then. This has nothing in it. Okay, we could put the ores in there. Oh, invaders. Aha, here we go. We got a big old bugger. Right. Let's take out the big old bugger. Everyone run away. Be afraid. All right, no one run away now. Get on with your lives. And the cleric is keeping them nice and healthy, which is great. See, this was way better than last time. That is fantastic. Level 2 cleric as well. Increased compassion for increased direct healing. We should really be paying a lot more attention to these other attributes. If we look at our... That's a herbalist. Where's the cleric? Oh, there we go. Let's look at the cleric right here. What is your compassion? 39. So, determines maximum trapper per count. Okay. Interesting. Increases shepherd animal happiness. Each point increases direct healing amount by one. Hmm. Interesting. Willpower determines health regeneration. Courage determines chance to flee in combat. That's based on the spirit. This is all based on body. So stamina. Each point increases max health by one. Speed. How fast the herfling moves. This herfling moves. Muscle. Every ten points increases weapon damage by one. And then we've got mind. Inventiveness. Uh, every two points increases the... The cra what, chance to craft a fine item by 1%. Not really that big of a deal, but to sell stuff. I really would like the idea of them creating fine weapons and tools. That would be really cool. Then I'd probably pay more attention to the inventiveness attribute. At the moment, though, it's just increased value and things, so you can sell them in the traders for a lot more. Uh, curiosity. Every 10 curiosity increases bonus experience earned by 1. That's a really cool perk, or attribute even. And diligence. Determine sleep duration. Okay, then. Wow, they must sleep very nice, <laughs> very happily. Right, um... Let's check our Shepherd. What have you got on you right now? What's your... Whatever perk it was again. Shepherd! More info. You got a Spirit of Four, which is good. So compassion. So the animals must be very happy. And at the same time, our trap has also got pretty good spirits. So that's something we've got to be focusing on with our trappers and shepherds in the future. I suppose whoever you want to make as a trapper is also going to probably be a pretty good shepherd as well, though. You never know. Maybe not. Oh. Goblins attacking from this area again. Oh, it's because they got a little base. Okay, then. We want to deal with that base. There are some pelts over there. We've gone triple speed. Take out this little bugger. It's just him by himself. Then we'll also go ahead and defeat his little base. The knight looks like he can easily deal with this goblin. Right, let's go destroy the base as well for some bonus bonus experience. I might also be able to get some people to the next level. Do we need any of this stuff right now? He is selling some raw mutton, which I originally thought was a piece of tuna or something, but I guess not. There we go. Destroy the base. Stop them from spawning. Fantastic. Good job, everyone. Now, uh, move over here. Because some of you are for some reason still moving. Oh, maybe not. You just That's your trail going back. Okay, that's fine. What are we storing here? It's just food, right? Yeah, food. Food and all of these. Good. What is our food right now? 501. We're getting there. It's no longer at deficit. Well, no longer down. Decli declining. I forgot how cute these little pollo chicks looked. It's just a box. <laughs> that's it. I'm just a box. I've got no feet. 
The way it sort of moves around though, the speed. Little old bugger, look at him. It's a nice little design right there. Definitely fits with the aesthetic. Right, let's double check our blacksmiths to see how they're doing. Still making stuff. I'm not sure if maybe they've slowed down or bugged out. We did have a few bugs with the blacksmith. This is, of course, a very unstable build of the game. Let's double check our... Ah, oh, yes. Okay, so Solar and the dude are now at level 3, which means we could turn both of them into archers. And that's definitely what I want. So there we go. Archers, fantastic. And at the same time, making you some caps as well would be great. So yeah, we get two caps. I'll make them separately, I guess. Anything else? Do we have just the padded vests? I don't think getting them a thick leather vest is really a good use of our money. I think eventually I'm going to get one of them with a fire quiver and the other one can have a spiky quiver since I don't think the freezing effects stack. So may as well have both of them. So there we are. That's fantastic. I think we're a little bit over time now. Let's just see if we can find an enemy first lurking around here. Maybe a skeleton so we can just see the, just see the archers in action. Oh, hello. Seems like you've already come to our aid. Okay, fantastic. So let's move together as a team. I would like if I can set their personalities so they didn't always just scout around random places. Let's get this game on one speed. Look at that. One's even a slightly different color. The dude prefers the color blue, apparently. I don't like how the cleric fights. It seems weird to me. Tell you what, though. That's lots more damage. Daily update. Didn't get on food, unfortunately. But we are focusing a bit more on food now. Fantastic. Good job. And lots of healing for all to go around. Anyway, though, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all very much for watching me. Think of a play. Timber and stone. Well, wait, what? Fuck. <laughs> stone her. <laughs> there we go. That was just reflex right there. <laughs> that was a really sharp S. I do apologize about that. Anyway, stone her. Welcome to North Point. That was it. It's because of the way I was transitioning over, just the, the way it was emphasized really felt like a timber and stone outro but there we go thank you all very much for watching we have been focusing a lot more on our combat orientated style of gameplay right here just because it's necessary i've always would be easily defeated level five in the blacksmith right there fantastic to see hopefully level six in the next little playthrough unless of course people wish for me to start again which i may do or i could just wait until the game updates to the alpha 16 stable build rather than the unstable build that it is currently at then I can start a new series and try maybe the dwarven design that was suggested before it sounds cool I'm not sure what to do with it though but we will see I'm gonna miss these Nordic buildings though I've tried very hard on them I just need to make some walls and all that fun stuff but because of the update building right now isn't really a thing also I've got the scale completely wrong I feel like I've screwed up the scaling of the buildings a bit too much but then again, I made like a huge castle before, and before that I was making very large buildings as well. But the only way to make these buildings look really good is by making them rather large though, so you can get the detail in there. But oh well, you've got, you got the time-lapse videos. It's just a good reason to put them in there, so there we go. Or throw a t make a time-lapse video, and then I can also use the building in, its in itself. I still need to template these. I need to get round to doing that. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm rambling on, as I usually do. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, like, and stuff. Follow me on Twitter. We'll updates on my channel and Twitch for our live streams. Aberdeen Keeper, you've all been fantastic. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.